Assalamu alaikum. Hi, I'm Dini Azara binti Muhammad Ustaza, and I'm here to tell you one of my favorite books, The Death of the Star Fairies. Before I start the book review, would you like to know about Sia Silton, the author of the best-selling children's book, the Geronimo Stilton series? Well, her real name is actually Elisabeth Tadami, who is an Italian author that currently resides in Italy. She loves travel and explore nature. As an animal lover, but was always fascinated by mice because of their special creativity and intelligence. She also thinks that mice are oddly curious like her and most of the children are. Okay, let's get to the book. The Dance of the Star Fairies is her work of fiction that features the Thea sisters as the main characters. You will find the Thea character is mentioned in the book. Guess what? It's because she is writing the story. Gotcha! If you enjoy reading about magical creatures or stories that feature fantasy elementary which are full of ad- adventure or exploration, you may find the book really interesting like I do. I bet it'll be a great reading choice. Just look at the book cover illustration. The picture of the Sia sisters in ethereal clothing is like inviting me to follow their enchanting tale of adventure and wonder on the magical journey through the night sky. From the glittering constellations to the shimmering auroras, they look like the star fairies who dance their way into my heart and leave me spellbound. This book is entertaining because the story plots are very fascinating and full of surprises. The story starts with a call from Thea's sister's friend, where the mystery about the stars in the Starlight Kingdom started to lose their shine. It is their mission to is to bring back the stardust to the Starlight Kingdom, or if not, the kingdom will be forever darkness. The magical creatures and settings that take place really kept me hooked to continue reading till the last page of the book. I really like the character designs and personality, where the story includes many variety of magical creatures like fairies, elves, nymphs, gnomes, centaur, and flying dragons. They are so unique in their own special way that makes me think from this friend's perspective in each situation along the storyline. It's very fun to imagine as, it's, as if myself is in the scene. I, feel, I find it such a thrilling story as it's filled with dramatic tension and adventures. They always needed to solve some riddles and puzzles from the beginning of the journey until the end of their mission. It's a bit tricky, but they managed to complete all the tasks. It's a very satisfying feeling that every time the sisters manage to complete the task and save the day, like breaking the evil amulet from the centaur and turning it into a normal amulet. This dazzling tale of friendship, bravery, and power of imagination really gets me in. The empowering spirits among them reflect the reality of my friendship at school with my besties. Their sisters managed to save the day with nothing but their wits, hearts, and trust. So, I believe that our friendship will last forever if we have the spirits that we are sisters in the story. I truly hope you enjoyed the book as much as I do. That's all for me. Sayonara!